Hello. Today we are going to make a sculpture of a bulldog. Inflate a balloon leaving about 6 inch flat tail. Twist the first soft about 2 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. It is a nose bubble. Now uh, let's twist the second about 7 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the second bubble in one lock twist. Bulldogs have a very strong jaw and that's what we are working right now on. It would take two more bubbles to make it. Twist the third soft about 4 inch bubble. Stretch the free end of the third bubble over the band of the second bubble. Measure and twist the fourth soft about 4 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Here's the bottom view and that's front view. Twist the fifth about 2 inch bubble. Twist the sixth 1 inch bubble. Twist the seventh about 1 inch bubble. Twist the eighth 1 inch bubble. Twist the ninth about 2 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last five bubbles in one lock twist. At this moment we are making the top part of the head. Here's a side view and the back view. Now let's lock both ends of the sixth bubble in one lock twist. It is a ear bubble. And lock both ends of the, of the eighth bubble in one lock twist. That is the second ear. Here's the front view. And now we have to make the eye bubble. Twist the tenth very soft about one inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Bring the rest of the balloon to the other ear on the back side of the hat. Make about one inch flat space and lock it with the sixth bubble. Bring the rest of the balloon to the front side of the hat. Twist the 11th very soft about 1 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the chain of the last two bubbles in one lock twist. Bring the rest of the balloon on the back side of the hat. Fix all bubbles in proper positions. Congratulations! We have made the bulldog hat. We can use the rest of the balloon uh, as a handle, as a neck, um, as a part of um, bulldog's body, and so on. Um, okay, here's a side view. Here's a front view. The other side looks the same. Uh, here's a top view. The side view and the bottom view. Here's a back view. Now we can use a permanent black marker to draw the face of um, Bulldog. Instead of using uh, a permanent marker to draw eyes, we can use a um, different color balloon, for example a black color, uh, to make the eye bubbles. And instead of uh, drawing uh, fangs, we can uh, use a slightly inflated, uh, almost flat balloon to make the fangs. You can attach fangs um, by forcing them between bubbles somewhere under the nose. Once again, I'm using a permanent black marker to draw the face. Um, I prefer to use the least possible number of uh, balloons to make all my sculptures. Maybe it come out simpler, but uh, faster. And that's what counts for me. Okay, here's a sharp Thanks, and uh, let's make a couple more marks on uh, both sides of the face to represent the whiskers. That's it. Congratulations! We have made head of uh, bulldog. Here's a front view, and it's a side view. And now we can attach this head to different sculptures, heads, bodies. 
let's inflate um, same color balloon uh, leaving about two inch flat tail to make the body of the bulldog. Let's twist the first about four inch bubble. Lock both ends of the first bubble in one lock twist. There are many different bodies we can make uh, for our sculpture. Uh, this time I want to make a bulldog body in a sitting position. Let's find what size front legs we have to make. And twist uh, the second about 7 inch bubble. Twist about uh, 2 inch neck bubble of the first balloon. I think it is the 12th bubble. And lock the free end of the neck bubble with the free end of the second bubble of the second balloon. Just like that. That's a bottom view. Twist the third about 7 inch bubble. Twist the uh, fourth about 4 inch bubble. Lock both ends of the fourth bubble in one lock twist. We have made the front legs. We can uh, fix the front legs in different positions, bring them closer to each other or put them apart as much as you want. Uh, let's twist the fifth about um, five inch long bubble. Uh, lock both ends of the chain of the last five uh, bubbles in one lock twist. In this example, I'm going to use the rest of the first balloon to make the back of the uh, body. Now let's fold the rest of the second balloon to find the size of the rear legs. We have to twist just two more bubbles of the same size. So let's twist the six about eight inch long bubble. Now twist a small about one inch bubble at the very end of the first balloon. It is a tail bubble. Lock the tail bubble with the free end of the sixth bubble of the second balloon. Now grab the very end of the uh, second balloon and lock both ends of the chain of the last three bubbles of the second balloon in one lock twist. Congratulations, we have made the body. We have made a body that looks very much as a simple threefold head. All right, let's uh, shape the front legs. I just bend them a bit. For the neck bubble between the front legs, fix the front legs the way you like it. Okay, here's a front view. Yes, here's a side view, the back view, and that's a bottom view. As always, we can use different color balloons to make this sculpture. Here's an example uh, of a bulldog I made using a brown color and gray color balloons. Two dogs better than one, right? Okay, that's enough for now. Have fun and happy twisting.